Hello, welcome back to another video on Azure Blazing and the first sorry for the, um, in a way, really two days with no videos but um, this video got a little lost because I did take my time to, to max limit breaking and there is not a hands I could cover, I could cover something in a way useless but I prefer talking about the content itself not uh, maybe talk some, sometimes about my box or my uh, my units and uh, impacts but Overall, I don't want to, uh, to um, in a way, um, put a, a, um, a new source of content. So this is why I sometimes take my time to do the videos. Uh, but this video is not important, but <laughs> in a way, um, some information about uh, him at max limit break. The question is, is it worth to max limit break? Uh, I mean, if you have Kizami, I think he's the, still the best one, 99 work unit. Uh, this guy, okay, he's run from a little for his money because 300 um, self healing per turn, defending body skill, meh. Ninjutsu, only 42 um, free chakra for all enemies in range, and the ultimate, uh, okay, of course, 6 chakra again, all enemies in range. Now, the part, the, the great part of him, of his ultimate, uh, is really the fact that he moves perfect dodge, ignores restitution, uh, okay, this is it, but. Uh, for a free unit, I think uh, this is always important. So guys, let's go for a match and uh, s see the damage overall. Okay, let's start with uh, checking out the, the range, the, um, the damage. So the range, medium range, okay, makes sense. Um, let's see the number of hits and uh, also the, the base damage. Okay. Okay, the animation is really good. Okay, for, uh, critical. So, I don't know if he's going to be official. Um, I don't know, let me see the chance. Two for two, uh, four? Uh, sorry, five, <laughs> six. So, crit let me see just if they are all the same. Okay, two, four, uh, five, six, seven. So, seven, uh, seven times chance to um, critical. So in a way, he does the 50k damage. Uh, I don't know if he's all the time because I don't I don't memorize the freaking uh, uh, critical Ashirama, how many dupes he has. I think he has like a four and two threes, or one three and one two. I don't know. Um, let's go keep going and try to do, use the ultimate on this. Oh, and uh, since we are here, we can check if he's almost to the critical all the time. Oh, so does not. Let's see, let's try to figure out, um, how you say, um, a percentage, for example, I hit uh, so far two times. Okay, I have to take out Sasuke because you have to kill all the dudes. So, okay. And again. Okay, did not uh, use the critical again, so I think the, the percentage is like maybe 50% chance to critical. I think, I think it's fair. Uh, oh man, I chose really the wrong raid. Um, there are so so few units over here. So I want to you know, try not to be boring video. I will skip to the moment I have the ultimate. Uh, see in a bit. So we are ready to use the ultimate. Um, and uh, in a way, test again the, the critical perspective of the guy. Uh, I think I don't have any buff. Oh, what is it? here I can confirm it I think I have the skill the body skill yes um, sync with body and we have a 125 buff in a way this is to prove that maybe for overall uh, impacts is not a must but for uh, body units is a possibility but I still think that Kizami is better so let's use the ultimate and finish this and see if he finds a critical Okay, the animation is uh, <laughs> is great. Twenty one. Okay, did not do the uh, a critical, but uh, twenty one is really not that bad of a damage. Uh, let's now go um, check the stats for the Blazing Awaken form. So guys, is Blazing Awaken form? Um, there is really not much talk about. It has a nice speed with uh, three hundred and uh, seventy eight. Nice health, nice uh, damage. The friend and uh, the, uh, the field and body skill are the same. Oh, sorry. 
So about the Boise Awaken form, I mean, there is really not much to say. It has a nice speed run at 78 with build, of course. Nice health, nice damage. Um, friendly body skill, same crap. Um, he cannot be mobilized, or at least uh, 20%, 40 and also 40 for the other two. And he has 25% to reset to the ultimate mech. The Jutsu does, this is more important, uh, how ends in range. 35 chance of attack weaken for 5 turns, which is changing for 3 seconds. The rates are really low, uh, low. and the worst part is, the, is this. Check out the, the Jutsu range. See, it's AoE, but literally, this is the worst Jutsu range you can have. Unless you, you are in the first turn, and if you don't know, normally the first turn is only the, the units on the um, straight line. I understand, but in the end, this is this can be the worst uh, range you can have uh, on a Jutsu or Ultimate, period. But guys, overall, I think, let me just see the Ultimate, there is no important. Oh, sorry. Uh, 50% attack week for, the tur for 4 turns. Yeah. In the end, for the difficulty of the unit and uh, the fact that um, it's really hard, to be honest, um, getting the under 250 pearls. Of course, I'm talking about in, if you don't have critical shiam or like the new unit. Uh, I think that it's not worth the, the trouble to maximum break him. In the end, it's good for collection. I mean, maybe for PVA you can use them because of the healing per turn and maybe pair it with um, also Kizami. I mean, yeah, you can have a nice heal per turn on a buddy uh, team and that's always great on this game. Uh, but in the end, it's up to you to um, if you want to have the trouble maximum or not. But uh, for me, it was a, a great event. I think it was a great impact. Uh, it was relatively fast because I have the unit again. Um, but I also tried to, in a way, th that tactic that I used first video is only for maybe not new players, but try to help the players that don't have the all the broken units and in a way just to get him uh, for collection not to max him out but guys in the end this is it for the video thanks for watching hope this helps and i'll see you next time see ya